so in the last video we had encountered a problem such that uh, when we click on this button uh, this is not updating the state uh, immediately okay so it is updating but it's not causing a re-render of this page right so uh, for this uh, to you know counter this problem we have a, a solution that is uh, from next year's okay so i talked about this in the last video itself that is uh, to revalidate the path okay so this is a, a special uh, feature in next year such that it will uh, you know disable all the cache and it will use the fresh data okay so that's what it says revalidate path allows you to purge cache data on on demand for specific path okay so which means that we are saying next year is that when we are using this function do not use the uh, cached version but use the uh, you know the fresh version okay so uh, whenever we make a server action to the back end okay so we uh, you know we update something but we do not want the previous uh, the cached values but we want fresh values okay so that's what this uh, uh, revalidate path is all about so we just need to import this from next slash cache and we just need to use this as a function and we just want to uh, say which path do we want to revalidate okay so this will disregard all the cache and it will show fresh data okay so that's what uh, this uh, page uh, says about so you can just uh, refer the documentation if you want to uh, know more about this revalidation of path okay however in our application we are rendering all our messages in the server side okay because we are using the use session hook from uh, next uh, auth and uh, we are uh, fetching the logged in users id okay so for that we need to render this only on the client side okay so that's why this uh, doesn't work on the server on the client side and it will only work on the server side okay that is revalidate path so this page is only rendered on the client side we cannot use this uh, revalidate path so we just need to manually update the state okay so we have created a state to store all the messages so we just need to manually update that when whenever we uh, you know pass in the mark as read property okay so if this was a server side rendered page what we would do is we could uh, import the revalidate path so that is coming from next slash uh, cache and then we need to pass in slash messages okay so this will uh, uh, revalidate and it will show in fresh data okay so since this is a client side uh, rendered page so we cannot uh, you know do this so what we just need to do is manually update the state so what we'll do is we can just uh, the set message set messages thing and then take in the whatever the previous messages that we had from prev message all right and what we just need to now do is uh, up manually update the state okay so we just need to loop across all the previous messages and for every we just check whatever the message id that we are receiving as for marking as red so we update that va message value from for the is red property from false to true all right so uh, copilot is giving me some suggestion so i'll just explain you what exactly is happening okay so we take the messages and map across so for uh, every message for the id property if that matches the uh, uh, the id that we are receiving for this function then we uh, take that other properties and of the message and then spread across and we only uh, manually override the is read property from false to true okay and then just return the message okay so this will update the message state okay so i know this is not a not i feel not the right way of doing this but this is how we just need to do it in the client component so uh, or we can also you know use a uh, use effect hook so whenever we uh, change the state of message then we uh, you know this component will re-render and we get fresh messages right so we can also do that so anyways so let's save this and just uh, check if we are actually you know solving this problem so since this uh, message is uh, marked already as read so what you can just do is go back to your database and just manually you know change this from is read from 0 to uh, you know sorry it was 1 before so i just need to make a requery and change this 1 to 0 okay so we are making from uh, false to true sorry from true to false back again okay just for the sake of testing so you don't have to do this in real life okay so once we do that we can just go back to application and you see that this message is again marked as is actually again unread okay so when i click on this message so you see that uh, this get uh, updated immediately okay so i just wanted to uh, you know manually show you this uh, particular technique for uh, you know revalidating the path in so only on server side uh, rendered pages okay so since uh, ours is uh, client side rendered so we don't have to uh, you know do this but we have to do that manually okay so uh, since the this situation came at this point in the course so i had to you know show you even this uh, technique okay so so that any any time we are building a project when you encounter any server side rendered page 
and you want to um, show in fresh data you can always use this okay and not just uh, inside the component we can also do it inside the server action okay so whenever we uh, you know we do some action like mark as red so here we can just uh, put a line like revalidate path and then provide the path name okay so this is uh, all about this particular lesson so that's all for this video okay so we have completed the feature to contact the owner okay so till here till at this point and uh, only thing left is uh, the one missing piece within our home page is to display on demand properties okay which means that uh, we display all those properties who are having maximum messages related to that property okay so you can just take this as a challenge uh, you can just uh, just list out just as we did for the featured properties we can also show another uh, cards for on demand properties and then show only those properties which are having most amount of messages okay so if you want you can just try this out it will be a challenge for you uh, at, uh, this will prove that uh, whatever we have done so far uh, you have actually understood okay so anyways let's uh, continue in the next video